गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स कंटिन्यू विद चैप्टर नंबर थ्री सेकेंड पार्ट द ब्लैक एरोप्लेन सो टिल नाउ वी हैव रेड दैट द पायलट ही वॉज इन हरी टू रीच हिज होम टू एंजॉय द ब्रेकफास्ट बट सडनली देर वर सम डार्क क्लाउड्स ब्लैक क्लाउड्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ हिम एंड वी हैव ऑब्जर्व ड्यूरिंग द टेक्सट that he was having less fuel so he could not go around so he went straight into the clouds when he was in problem because he could not see anything so he found a black aeroplane in front of him and he was little bit happy he was glad because he was in problem and he found the another aeroplane and then the pilot of that another plane started asking him to follow me and he also followed him now see further page number 38 last paragraph he turned his aeroplane slowly to the north he turned his aeroplane slowly to the north in front of my dakota so that it would be easier for me to follow him and what he did the another pilot he turned his aeroplane slowly to the north and right now that aeroplane was in front of all dakota and now it became easy for the pilot to follow that new plane or another plane you can say i was very happy to go behind this strange aeroplane like an obedient child he followed him just like an obedient child why because now he was in problem and if he didn't follow him definitely there would be a uh, situation could be more drastic so like an obedient child he followed him after half an hour the strange black aeroplane was still there in front of me in the clouds after half an hour as he was following so almost half an hour passed and that black aeroplane was still in front of him now there was only enough fuel in all dakota's last tank to fly for 5 or 10 minutes more then again he checked the fuel tank and how much was there that the old dakota could fly only for 5 or 10 minutes more i was starting to feel frightened again i was started to feel frightened again why because there was less fuel he was thinking that still he is far away and fuel is very less but then he started to go down and i followed through the storm but then he started to go down and i followed through the storm means now the black aeroplane started to go down and he followed him suddenly I came out of the clouds and saw two long straight lines of lights in front of me. Suddenly, I came out of the clouds and saw two long straight lines of lights in front of me. It was a runway, an airport. I was safe. As he saw the two lines in front of him, he was delighted because he knew that it was the runway and he has reached where at the airport i was safe i turned to look for my friend in the black aeroplane as he landed the plane he was quite safe he was quite happy now he is looking for the another plane he was looking for that friend who saved his life but the sky was empty there was nothing there but the sky was empty there was no aeroplane the black aeroplane was gone i couldn't see it anywhere the black aeroplane was gone and the pilot was not able to find or able to see that aeroplane anywhere i landed and was not sorry to walk away from the old dakota near the control tower i landed and was not sorry to walk away from the old dakota near the control tower so as he landed then he moved toward the control room control tower 
I went and asked a woman in the control center where I was and who the pilot was. Then he went to the control room. See the picture? Here the pilot is asking that lady, where is that pilot? I wanted to say thank you. I wanted to say thank you. She looked at me very strangely. See the gesture again. She looked at him very strangely and then laughed. Another aeroplane? Up there in this storm? No other aeroplanes were flying tonight. Yours was the only one I could see on the radar. She told that sir, your was the only one. There was no any other plane. So who helped me to arrive here? Sorry. There safely without a compass or a radio and without any more fuel in my tanks. Now he is questioning. He is asking, so who helped me to arrive here? Very safely. Even though there was less fuel in my plane. Who was the pilot on this strange black aeroplane flying in this storm without lights? Now that was the question. That who was the pilot in that black aeroplane? Okay. So it remained a mystery for him. Anyhow, he was helped by the black aeroplane. Though he was willing to say thank you to that pilot. But when he went to the control room, he came to know that there was no any other plane. His plane was the only one. Alright. Now coming to the question answers. See the question number one. I will take the risk. What is the risk? Why does the narrator take it? So first we are to tell I will take the risk. Whose statement was this? You know it is the statement of the narrator. When he was flying to his hometown in England, he finds dark clouds in his way or you can say that he was surrounded by the dark clouds. Moreover, he noticed that there was less fuel in the tank as he says that which risk he is talking about. The risk that when the clouds were there, he could not go around. He could not fly above the clouds because there was less fuel. So he decided better I should go straight. Better I should go straight. The reason was there was less fuel in his tank. So he decided that he will go straight. The reason is, as it is asked, that why does the narrator take it? Because there was less fuel. Okay. So, he decided that he will take the risk and he will cross these stormy clouds straight. Question number two. Describe the narrator's, describe the narrator's experience as he flew the aeroplane into the storm. Describe the narrator's experience as he flew the aeroplane into the storm. What sort of experience he is talking about? First, that there was less fuel when he was, uh, he was just about to decide that I will go straight into black clouds. Less fuel was there. There was no any other option. Second thing, his compass was not working properly okay so he was unable to decide which direction i have to go third thing there was no control sorry there was no connection with the control room so he was in dilemma okay and that's why uh, he was unable to think anything and when he saw the black aeroplane in the clouds he was delighted he became happy Question number three. Why does the narrator say I landed and was not sorry to walk away from my old Dakota? See the question. He says 
I landed and was not sorry to walk away from the old Dakota. Why did he say so? Because you know, first thing, he was the only one who was flying in those black clouds, right? Second thing, in the clouds he had a very curious experience, or you can say that. he had just had a brush with death so its safe landing was not less than a miracle when he was in the black clouds compass was not working signals were not there no connection with the control room almost we can say that the machine was failed to land him safely but with the help of that mysterious plane he landed safely so that's why the narrator says i landed and was not sorry to walk away from the old dakota what made the women in the control center look at the narrator strangely because the narrator went to the control room to say thank you to the another pilot of that black aeroplane as he asked the lady about the another plane she was surprised she was shocked and she told him that sir your was the only plane in that stormy night or you can say clouds there was no any other plane so that's why she was surprised as he was talking about the another plane who do you think helped the narrator to reach safely discuss this among yourselves and give reason for your answers see uh various ideas come in our mind we can say that it was a miracle he was helped by the god but if we see the things from a very close distance when he found that there were dark clouds in front of him he could take the plane around the clouds he could take the plane above the or over the clouds but he might have been hallucinating and moreover he was a good pilot he was confident also so his confidence helped him his nature helped him and he decided as he decided no i will go straight because i am having less fuel so that was the confidence that was his boldness and he was ready to take the risk in dark clouds so we can say that he was a good pilot and he himself helped him okay so dear students you will write down these question answers in your fair notebook you will write down the vocab as well as the value points fine thank you have a good day